Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Dalton at Dalton 95 Punch with another Transformers Legacy video, and that is going to be our first of the Wreckers, Wreck and Rule, Amazon, slash Hasbro Pulse exclusive subline, Twin Twist. Uh, yeah, so a little bit here. I am a little bit disappointed that Hasbro did not include Top Spin with him, but Mark Mayer, the, I guess, lead design manager for Transformers, did hint that there could be more records in the future, so we might end up getting a Diaclone color top spin very soon. So I'm assuming, just like with the original top spin twin twist, the colors will be reversed. So you've got that. We've got Whirl here in the background sporting his 2013 design. I do hope we get a new design figure, maybe a little bit similar, maybe a little something leading towards uh, IDW with the VTOL kind of look that he had. It could be like what uh, MMC did, and give us a Obsidian. So, very nice box art. You get Emmert Zarin's head there. It does form another picture together, like the all the other Amazon packs, like the Battle Cross Time two packs that would combine and form a picture, and same with Skywarp and G2 Sideswipe, as well as the Golden Disc Collection, creating the full Golden Disc. But anyways, we've got Diaclone Universe Twin Twist. Yes, he is in his Diaclone, and... Subsequent knockoff colors, you get his headmaster, I can't remember the name of it. Also, 18 steps, one step for the Titan Master. So yeah, uh, his packaging was a little weird. I'm going to stop focusing on it soon, but yeah, he was pretty much just on this weird piece of cardboard with no ties. It was just taped in there, holding him down. So we do get our part of the Wrecker Hammer. Uh kind of disappointed by the fact that this is what Hasbro is going with. But uh, at the time of this recording, here in a month, you can get a limited edition hammer at the Stasis Hawk Parts Party at BotCon. So be sure to go check that out. It does show you how to assemble the hammer. So yeah, you basically just squeeze this until all four corners equal 90 degrees. And of course, it shows the other components. You got E, A, B, and, or no, D and B. So D is one end of the hammer. Same with E, A is the central portion, which I'm assuming comes with one of the two packs. Same with B. Now, at the time of this recording, I had to cancel A and B, or, you know, the, the two packs, just for budget reasons at the time. But I, I should be able to get those still. Like, they haven't sold out anywhere. At least on Amazon. But, yeah, it doesn't even give him a name. I can't remember. Was it Frost Flame or Frost Circuit? I can't remember. It had One of them had to do with overheating circuits, and the other one had to do with freezing circuits, so that's all I remember. So bringing in Twin Twist here, finally. Try to get him in the pose on the packaging as close as I could. So yeah, very nice colors. Let's go and get him off of there. Now, right off the bat, I will say some of the joints are a little loose just due to mold degradation. So it is sad that these... Titans Return, Combiner Wars molds just aren't holding up like they used to, or like the Legacy and War for Cybertron Trilogy 1s are. But here he is compared to the regular Titans Return release. So, yeah, much darker, more purpley shade of blue. It's definitely more on, I guess, the indigo side. I get some red and yellow there on the kneecaps. Same with the details here on the shoulder. Get more paint here on, well, I guess about the same because I got rid of these details, but you did get the little vent detail there, that there. Nice kind of metallic blue wrecker symbol. Get the same shade of silver. Actually, no, a little bit less. It might be the same shade. It's just painted on red plastic. Looking at his headmaster here. You can see it's still nicely sculpted. Do have the head turn around because if you flip it around the other way, it is very loose. So I'll go ahead and transform him. So there's that. Yeah, same articulation. So head joint, ball joint at the shoulders. I only get up to there and out to the side a little bit. And you can bend these whichever way you want to do. Let's go ahead and Put that back in head mode. 
So yeah, uh, articulation is the same, ball jointed shoulders, get all the way out. I miss ball jointed shoulders. Wish Hasbro would do something more like this. And this is how you do a shoulder, not like what we had on G-axis, but regardless, you got quite a good range of motion on the elbow, you get a bicep swivel, and nothing at the wrist due to the transformation. Of course, head is on a ball joint, thanks to the Titan Master. Hips or waist, fairly tight swivel. You get all the way out on a ball joint there. Forward and back all the way. A nice tight swivel there. 90 degrees at the knee, no ankle tilt. Uh, the legs are a little loose on mine, like I said, mold degradation. So I might go in there with some of that kiki loose joint fix. As far as transformation, it is really simple. It's still fairly intuitive though. I like I still like his transformation and trigger happies. So you take these accessories off. You can combine the weapon if you want to for this weird sled thing. Just plug Titan Master's feet into there and the tabs into the back of the legs. You can ride that around, operate it, or just you know, just as a secondary cockpit. So got that. Open up the forearms here. Just fold those hands away, and then they will collapse on this double joint. You want to move the panel out of the way, or moving that out. Close that. Just go ahead and move this out. Fold up the fist. Close that up. And from here, we'll go ahead and open up the legs from the side. Fold up the feet. Untab the waist. And rotate. From here, open up the cockpit, flip down the drill bits. These forearms will just plug right into those little slots. Uh, bring up my brightness just a little bit. Right there. So just there. Those will tab in. Tab, bring up. And then there's a tab on here that just kind of slots in on that mushroom, where that mushroom joint is. And just all put this together. And flip down the cock. Oh, actually, first, let's leave that open. Okay, gotta leave that open. Go ahead and put our tight master in there. Doesn't really have any controls or anything, it just sits in there. Okay, what am I? Maybe I got that wrong. There we go. I'm still not wanting to cooperate. There we go. Rotate the waist, and then that will clip in to where the neck joint plugs into. And then the legs just collapse again on a double hinge. There is two slots here that the legs will plug onto. Just tab these together. Close these panels. And close these down. And there we have Twin Twist in tank mode, or drill tank mode. So if you're a fan of Brave or Japanese mecha in general, there's got to be a drill tank of some kind. There we go. That's better. Then these can split apart. Plug them onto the treads or up here. I think that, yeah, the peg holes are just too little, a little too shallow there. So we'll just flip these around. Just like that. So let me get the other one in tank mode and we'll go from there. And here we have the regular twin twist. So you can see how they look compared side by side. Again, fairly similar paint apps. The only thing that's missing is this little strip of paint here. And then of course the symbol being replaced. Although I think for twin twist, it works with him being a diaclone type vehicle, especially with the colors like diaclone was, or as far as I know, had a lot of this kind of indigo blue with the red. So yeah, not too bad looking. And still rolls sort of one of the wheels on here is really 
yeah, this front one is a little tight. Just these little tiny caster wheels. Still get the thrusters there. So yeah, overall not too bad looking. I do hope, like I said before, we get top spin to go with this and the inverted colors. So yeah, let's go ahead and get them back into robot mode. And again, fairly simple. Just bring this out. And get the legs. Straighten it out. Oh, not slide it off the peg there. Let's just put the legs. Just straighten them out. Fold up the fold down the foot. Close that up. Bring out the knee guard. And knee guard. Straighten out. Fold out the foot. There you go. Rotate that. Bring this around. Rotate this whole front end around. Bring out the arms, up the cockpit, fold that up, fold that down. Just clip that into place. Up the arms, straighten out, flip out the fist, fold that back. Arm, fist, straighten, close that. And give him back his headmaster. So there we got Twin Twist back in his robot mode. And like I said, you know, loose joints, I could easily get those fixed. But at the end of the day, I really wish we had a new Twin Twist mold. Or if they went with someone else, since we've had Twin Twist already. Just expand the wreckers beyond what we already have. Get some new molds. Or if you're going to do previous characters, do new molds for them. But still, he looks pretty good. I'm looking forward to hopefully getting top spin. I would love to see some other records characters throughout. Maybe create a new mold for Rack and Ruin or something. Use a couple of the modulators or weaponizers to do that. I'm sure there's no shortage of characters they could use. So That's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this fairly short video. Just, you know, about 12 and a half minutes. So... Yeah, be sure to check out all my previous videos down in the description or, you know, on my channel. Check out all the links down in the description and we'll see you guys next time.